this is a human skull. And let's start off with, um, with the top of the skull. <clears throat> okay. So um, this is the frontal bone. This would be the coronal suture. <clears throat> this is a parietal bone. This is a parietal bone. The suture that separates the two parietal bones is the sagittal suture. Now if I turn this to the back, we have the occipital bone. <clears throat> and if you look closely, you'll see the lambdoidal suture here. Now the occipital bone is very large and it wraps around to the bottom here. So all of this area, oops, his head fell off. All of this area here as well is also the occipital bone. Let's look at some of these other cranial bones. So we also have an area here, which is the temporal bone. And of course, we have one on either side. And right here, you have the sphenoid bone. Um, it's hard to see here on this, on this particular model, but um, you also have a suture here, which would be the squamosal suture. So now let's talk about some of the other um, some of the other features that you need to know. <clears throat> so this here is the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. Here, let me get in here. This is the external auditory canal also known as the external auditory meatus. This is the mandible, which is the jawbone. This here, where it articulates, is called the mandibular fossa. Now let's go ahead and wrap around towards the uh, face here a little bit. Okay, remember this is the frontal bone, the cranial bone. <clears throat> Now, this is the nasal bone. Okay. Just where the cheek is right here, this is the zygoma. And this, this is the zygoma. And this would be the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. This here is the maxilla, which takes up most of the face area, the maxilla. I've given my skull some dental problems. There we go. <clears throat> and this, where I'm sticking the stick through, that is the optic foramina or foramen. Okay. Inside the nose here, we have... This, um, we have the ethmoid sinuses, <clears throat> and you need to know some of these, some of the structures on this bone. This uh, part of the bone here at the bottom is called the vomer. The um, large uh, plate right in the middle that goes uh, vertically. <clears throat> That is the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone. Here, you actually are going to see a, a, um, some of the some of the holes of the sinuses here as well. But right here would be the lacrimal bone, which is just inside of the the orbit. Okay. 
All right. So now let's look at some of these features um, that are here on the underside. <clears throat> this large hole here. Now remember, this is uh, this is all occipital bone here. This large hole here is the uh, foramen magnum. This is where the spinal cord is going to uh, enter through the skull and connect with the brain. There are two little bumps here. These are called the occipital condyles, and these articulate with the C1 vertebrae, which has a special name, which is called atlas. Um, so that uh, creates that articulation point for the skull to be able to uh, move around. Okay, now <clears throat> let's go ahead and open this guy up and see some of the structures on the inside of the skull that you need to be aware of. Okay, so I'm taking the skull apart. Okay. <clears throat> Real quickly, hopefully you remember that I told you the inside of the nose here, I have the ethmoid sinuses and this is the ethmoid bone. Now, when I turn around at this view, the ethmoid bone is now going to be this area here. Okay, So the entire region here would be the ethmoid bone but there are some names of the structures that you need to know. Um, so basically, uh, there are three little um, combs, if you will, that stick up here. The middle one has a special name called the Crista Gale. It actually means rooster comb, Okay, the Crista Gale. The outer two have a different name, and that's called the Cribriform Plate the cribriform plate, and the whole thing is the ethmoid bone. The next thing I'm going to share with you <clears throat> is something called the sphenoid bone. Now, the sphenoid bone, I'm going to trace the outside of it here. Okay. So this whole area, if you take it out, it actually looks like, well, you can't really take it out here, but if you just look at this area that is the sphenoid bone, it kind of looks like a bat or a butterfly or a moth. So that whole area is the sphenoid bone. Now, so there's a couple of things that you need to know here. <clears throat> um, to me, it kind of looks a little bit like a happy face. So I think of this as one eye, that's another eye, and then this little area is maybe a smiley face in between the two wings here. Now, this area right here, um, there's a small little chamber here, a little indentation within the sphenoid bone. This is actually called the cella tersica. And the cella tersica is a little small chamber that is made for the pituitary gland to sit into. Okay. Uh, a couple other things that I want to show you here. <clears throat> so now I'm going to turn the skull around real quick and remind you of the optic foramen. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and stick my stick through here, the optic foramen so that you can see where it comes out on the other side here. Okay, so this is the optic foramen right there. And the other one, so basically it's the eyeballs that I was showing you earlier. And the other one is here. Okay. <clears throat> um, now, also let me remind you of the external auditory canal or external auditory neatus. Okay. So it starts here, and this one's uh, too small for me to put my stick through, but it actually goes through the bone for quite a distance. Let me show you where this comes out on the inside here. So here and here. So when you're coming from the inside like this, this would be considered the uh, internal, let me show you a better view here. <clears throat> so there's really small little holes here. This one here, oops, one there, and here. Okay. Now that is um, 
That is the internal auditory meatus or the internal auditory canal. Okay, so I don't think I've left anything out and that should be everything you need to know for your skull. Let's put this head back on. Okay. And there you go. Happy studying.